I'm Kainzan the Tech Pro and today will be question 19 of our machine learning question and answer series and today will be, we are going to be looking at what is mean squared error in machine learning. Actually what is mean squared error in a machine learning model? Again I'm going to explain the concept to you and also giving you the minimal formula or the minimal mathematical notation, some minimal di diagrams you'll need to be able to explain all of this. So, Mean squared error is a measure of the quality of a model. So when a model makes a prediction, the mean square error provides a way to know uh, to know how well the prediction matched the real data. For example, if we have a data set, I'm going to actually uh, write down. I'll also recommend the way the best way to learn quickly is to actually be writing. So if we have a data big X the set of observation is equals to x1, x2, all the way to xn, okay? Each observation corresponds to a given y value given by y equal to y1, y2, all the way to yn. So in this case, the x variables, they are the, of course, of course, you know that x variables, they are independent. Another name, the normal name, we call it in machine learning uh, term, is called predictor variables. And y is the response. Response variable or the targets variable. Okay, all right, so now we want to develop a model that maps y values to maps y values to x values or that maps x values to y values. Okay, a model may be a function of x that takes each of the x and maps it to each of the y, right. So for xi it maps to yi, for x, for x1 maps to y1, for x2 maps to y2, and so on. So now in ideal case, f xi should map to yi. But this is not the case in real scenario. Once we have this model based on this data set, there's always a difference between f xi and yi. So there's always a difference between f, x, i, and y, i. So I'm going to put a cap on it and leave this one without a cap. So this difference is called the error. So this is the error. It means that how much is the output of your model related to the actual output. So basically, if we calculate using this our model f, but uh, f hats we are going to get y hats and y hats of i uh, is close to y i but not y so if we take a total of all these errors and then square them so the error is given by e is equal to in this case the actual value minus our own value that we calculated using our own function. So this is the error that we incur. And the MSE will now be given by, so we take a total of all the errors, we have uh, sigma of i is equal to one, to n for all the data sets, and we are taking y i minus f of x i, and then we square it. So this is what is called the mean squared error. So permit me to okay. Um, so just to be on the safe side, I would like to refer to question one to ten. Let me make sure I get this correctly. Okay, I'm not sure I have it on question one to ten, so let's just get back. Okay. 
So just to make sure, let me just check and make sure, give me a second, let me just make sure I'm actually getting the mean squared error correctly. Uh, make sure I get the mean squared error correctly. So I'll I'll say just give me give me a few seconds because I need to make sure everything is perfectly okay before I actually round off in this uh, in this in this class. So I'm going to go here. Mm, let's see. Okay. Uh, so basically, some sometimes uh, it seems some. Ah, one over two or one over two here, but if you're able to state this, state it in this way, I think it is very, very much correct. So this is this one over two. Well, it's necessary in some textbooks. You see, sometimes it's not there. So actually, we are all good to go. So that is what mean squared error is all about. Uh, again, I would like to say take some time to read. Eat up the explanation is here and also be able to write this formula all on your own without having to look at any textbook. I'm going to stop here and I'll also like to thank you for viewing. I also remind you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video and also feel free to leave me a comment if there's something you see that you'd like me to do better or some support you need in understanding some of these concepts that I'm explaining. So in the next lesson we are going to, or in the next question we are going to now look at explain the concept of bias variance trade-off in machine learning.